Sudden cardiac arrest is a leading cause of death. It can happen anywhere, to anyone, at any time. I'm here to demonstrate how to use the Philips Heart Start On-Site Automated External Defibrillator, or AED, in case you need to help someone in cardiac arrest. Set the AED on the same side of the patient as you. Press the on button. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. You have already called 911, so remove the clothing from the patient's chest as quickly as possible. When patient's chest is bare, remove protective cover and take out white adhesive pads. These are the electrode pads. Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare skin. When the first pad is in place, look carefully at the picture on the second pad. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. It doesn't matter which pad you put on first. The important thing is you place the pads exactly as shown in the picture and you press down firmly. As soon as the pads are in place, the AED will immediately start to evaluate the heart rhythm. No one should touch the patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Make sure no one is touching the patient. Press the flashing orange button now. Shock delivered. Be sure emergency medical services have been called. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. Place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest between the nipples. Place your other hand on top of the first. Push the chest down firmly two inches. Keep time with the beat. Pinch nose, tilt head, and give two full breaths. Breathe. Breathe. Continue with compressions. Provide chest compressions and rescue breaths according to your training. Continue CPR until the AED tells you to stop, emergency medical personnel arrive, or the person starts moving. While you perform CPR, the AED will interrupt you at regular intervals so it can check if another shock is necessary. Stop CPR. No one should touch the patient. Analyzing. Keep standing clear of patient while the AED is evaluating the patient. It may decide to shock again or it may say, Shock not advised. It is safe to touch the patient. If needed, begin CPR. Even if they start to move or breathe normally, do not take the pads off the patient. The AED will keep monitoring the patient and will tell you if another shock is needed. That's it. Just do what the AED tells you from the moment you turn it on. When the emergency medical team arrives, you may have saved critical time by starting treatment. Even better, you may have saved a life.